So I'm going to uh, share Maria Elena's Gutierrez Renteria slides. It's a pleasure to me, and thank you very, very much to all of you to uh, to accept this this kind of presentation. Uh, uh, can you see it um, the presentation right now? Yes. Okay. Very, uh, very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much. So I begin. This is uh, the presentation of my professor. Maria Elena Gutierrez Santeria, it's a pleasure uh, to me to read it. Uh, I think uh, this presentation has a lot, a lot of context on political and, uh, and economic uh, context of Mexican society right now. Uh, we have uh, a young society uh, 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 right now is the young people dominates the population of, of country. Uh, there is a media market concentration. Uh, this is um, a, a typical form of concentration in, in Latin America. It's not exclusive of Mexico, but we have uh, a, a few families uh, controlling the, <clears throat> the media landscape. Uh, but there are new uh, players in the market, uh, new digital native media uh, that are uh, doing things different to change uh, the landscape uh, and, and are motivated uh, big media players to change their uh, uh, their ways to do business in Mexico, business and, and content and journalism. Mexico is one of the six uh, countries markets for advertisers in America Latina, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Peru, in Mexico, and Mexico. Mexico is character characterized by attacking freedom of the press. We are the most dangerous country for the journalistic, uh, for journalism. The main problems facing Mexican media during the pandemic. Uh, one, a, polari a polarized society, economic contraction and effect effects of COVID-19. Um, frequent attacks from the president Andrés Manuel López Obrador, who accuses the media of unfair coverage and corruption. Traditional media face, uh, traditional media face, audience polarization and fragmentation, decline in advertising revenue, and the need to respond to digital shifts in, in consumer habits. And four, digital born media face, decrease advertising revenue and vulnerability in their business models, marketing, and revenues. What are the learnings that stay relevant? One, the vulnerability of the Mexican industry by having most of its revenue concentrated in some advertisers. Two, the importance of understanding Mexican audiences in the current digital environment. Three, the need for Mexican society to receive information through media professionals and the value of journalism. And four, the need to work on business models of media firms, traditional media and digital born media, editorial, marketing, and revenues. And what are the opportunities for scholars in the field? Maria Elena Gutierrez Renteria said, one, Stimulate the media, economics, and media management research with media professionals. Maybe what Maria Elena and, 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 and I are doing right now. <laughs> Second, develop a multifactorial market research that helps to understand me Mexican audiences. And three, identify the main barriers to, en to entry into the Mexican media industry and the core business strategies for media firms in the current digital economy, economy environment, micro and macro and micro economics. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.